We are recording. Okay, welcome everybody. Um, I'm going to call this meeting of CRC to order. Um, the President Griesemer has designated me uh, to chair the meeting until you elect a, a chair. So I'm gonna get us started. Um, first, I'm gonna say pursuant to state law that um, suspended provisions of the open meeting law, we're allowed to hold this meeting virtually. I'll go around and check that everyone can hear and be heard and then we'll get started. Mandy? Present. Jennifer? Present. Uh, Fricka? Okay. Present. Pam? Present. Pat? Present. And Dave, you're here with us. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Athena. All right, our first order of business is electing a chair. So we're gonna do this similar to the way we did the election of the president. I'll open the floor for nominations. Nominees will um, be able to accept their nomination or not. Um, if there are no further nominations, then I'll take a comment, a short comment from the nominee speaking to their nomination, um, and then comments from other committee members, and then we'll move to a vote. So we're open for nominations. Uh, I nominate. Whoop. No, Pat, you go. I would like to nominate Pam Rooney for chair. Pam, do you accept the nomination? Yes, yeah, thank you. Are there any further nominations? Seeing none, I'm going to look for a motion. Um, Unless there I, are further yeah. comments. Oh, was Pat gonna do this? No, no, go Jen. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, call me. Did you did you want to make a comment? Are you speaking oh. to me or to Jennifer? Jennifer, did you want to make a comment? No, no, I was gonna make a motion. Okay. Are there any comments? Seeing none, Jennifer, please go ahead. Um, I move to elect Pam Rooney, Pam Rooney as chair of CRC for this. I'll second. Year. And I don't know how to raise my hand, so I don't have anything to say other than I'm going to shout out when I want to say something, I guess. That works. Fricka, did you have a comment? Okay. I was testing my raising hand function. Okay, great. It works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll move to the vote. Pat. Aye. Fricka? Aye. Pam? Aye. Jennifer? Aye. And Mandy? Aye. It's unanimous. Congratulations, Pam. Thank you. I'm going to hand <laughs> things over to you for the election of the vice chair. All right. And um, I want to first just simply say thanks to Mandy, both for her leadership and for her um, help in transition of knowledge and also just being so organized, it's a really hard act to follow, um, but uh, you've laid out a really good structure for uh, the organization and for the information. And I know if I have questions, I can call you. <laughs> so thank you. Um, I would like to have uh, folks nominate uh, any nominations for vice chair. Mandy. I have no idea whether she'll accept, but I nominate Pat. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't hear her answer. <laughs> if there are, is there anybody else? I'm not sure I'm going to accept it. Maybe. <laughs> is there anybody else to be nominated? Hello? I, I'm not seeing Can any. I don't hear anyone. <laughs> All right. Jennifer, I'm going to come after you. <laughs> uh, yes, I'll accept. Crazy as I am. 
Any any other nominations? We'll get to know each other better. Any, any other nominations? Rebecca. I, I see no other hands. So we'll, we'll um, I'm looking for, Pat, do you want to say anything? Just that you're reluctant? No. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> okay. um, would someone I like was to... not a... a, a Please say that again. We I wasn't. Pat? I had no idea. And what? No, I thought we lost you. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to be quiet because I don't. It's hard for me to figure out what's going on. But go ahead, keep going. Are there any other nominations? You can self-nominate. Jennifer, would you be interested in? running as vice chair. So I I think Pat would be a terrific vice chair. I am if I don't know if this is kosher, but Pat, I'm happy to when things get assigned to you work with you on that. Pat and I Pat chair how GOL. About, and I, yeah. I try to be helpful. Yeah. So if how about if you how about you take it on? Take on the co chair. I mean, the vice chair, whatever it's called. I'm happy not to be involved in that, but I will be if nobody else. But so, Jen, I'd rather you actually do it. Okay. I mean, I'm not, if somebody else wants to do it, I'm not seeking it out, but I will do it if Ditto. nobody <laughs> wants to do it or if nobody Ditto. has it, you know, whatever. <laughs> I feel like I, you know, want to be a helpful counselor, but it's, I'm not Mandy, actually Mandy seeking it. Mandy? I'll try a couple of different nominations here and we'll see who accepts. <laughs> I'm going to nominate first Brecca Ete. <laughs> Woohoo! Brecca, do you accept? Excuse me. Um, thank you very much, uh, Mandy. I don't accept. Um, I appreciate <laughs> that. I will nominate Jennifer Taub. Jennifer, do you accept? Um, I accept, but again, if anybody else, Pat? No. That's not how it, that's not how it works. <laughs> that's not how it works, okay. I, do, I I withdraw my nomination that I had no idea was going to happen. I withdraw. Let's do Jen. Um, so, uh, Athena, just, just for the record here, um, do we go around and people say the name of the person they would like? Uh, and that that accounts for the vote, or do we have to say all those in favor of so and so, and you count two votes or three votes or whatever? Seeing as there was only one nominee for the chair, I I skipped the everybody say who they want and just moved right to a motion. So it's up to you. Um, I think that saved saved a minute or two okay. <laughs> if you want to just seek a motion. We have, we have a motion on the floor to nominate. No. Not, there's not a motion yet, but you okay. can seek a motion. I make a motion to um, nominate Jennifer Taub as vice chair. Is there a second? Second, oh. Frika. Thank you. Uh, let's go around. Um, Mandy Jo. Um, aye. Frika. Aye. Pat DeAngelis. Aye. Jennifer Taub. Reluctant I, but yes. <laughs> and Pam Rooney, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is it is unanimous. Thank you. That is the first order of business. Second order of business is setting a regular meeting time for the CRC. Um I'm gonna look directly at Freke and say, what does your schedule typically look like? We the, the others, members of this committee have um, been or made themselves available this time of day on Thursdays, typically. Does that work for you or is there a better time that would work for you? And we can adjust for sure. Um, in terms of, thanks for accommodating me. In terms of time, Tuesdays and 
Thursdays work. I think Tuesdays actually work better, but it would have to be a bit later. So for example, I am working on campus right now. I am in the office um, and um, yeah, I'd prefer to be somewhere else in having this kind of meeting. So what time, what time is more appropriate for you? Um, ideal would be 5.30 upwards. So that would put a meeting uh, from roughly 5.30 to 7.30, um, which is immediately directly over most people's dinner hours. Um, what do folks think about that? And I... <laughs> I that's difficult for me. I could do six thirty to eight thirty or seven to nine. Pat. Yep. I, I I'm in the studio till four thirty and I need time after that. So six I guess six I uh, I guess I could do six to eight also. But okay. I can other Tuesdays okay. Okay. Um Jennifer, you have your hand up. Yeah, Tuesdays is actually better for me because if TSO is meeting at Thursdays right after CRC, I'd rather meet on Tuesdays also. I think maybe 6.30 would be better, 6.30 or 7 for the public. So it's after dinner. Uh, uh, quickly, I'm sorry to interject. The other committee's meeting times will also likely change because of uh, new members. So I don't think TSO will stay Thursdays, um, but I think it will likely be GOL and CRC that are Tuesdays and Thursdays um, in the Tuesday evening. Thursday. So I, I think if you get in and do Tuesday, then GOL will likely um, pick Thursday or vice versa. And the other concern with Thursdays any earlier is uh, ZBA meetings. So, um, if there are staff who you expect to be at CRC meetings who will also be at CBA meetings, then because CRC had been meeting earlier, they were able to attend CRC before moving to CBA. So if you meet right during CBA meetings, um, we, we might not be able to expect staff at the same time, or um, we'll have to alternate weeks with CBA. Thank you. Okay. Actually, um, later is better. So I was sleeping for joy, seeing that we were thinking about seven, that 6.30, that works way better for me. Thank you. 6.30 works? 6.30 on Tuesday? On Tuesday, yeah. Mandy Jo? 6.30 on Tuesday would be fine with me. Okay. I'm hearing consensus that- Actually- Tuesday... Oops, go ahead. Let me ask Athena, you just pulled for finance for Tuesdays. I think your latest pull time was two. Do you expect that polling to go any later than two? <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> just wanted to make sure if she pushes that later that it wouldn't run into a 6.30 on Tuesday, but, but 6.30 on Tuesdays is fine if finance is not polling later than 2 p.m. And um if if i can jump in again um fricka just to let you know it looks like if crc is tuesday at 6 30 then gol will likely be thursday evening maybe around the same time i, I sent out a poll for gol just letting you know jennifer yeah i was just wondering if so could they be every other week so i don't know if that's preferable if CRC meets at Tuesday one week, then GOL wouldn't be till Thursday the next week, if that's what people prefer. And then you're not meeting oh. all nights. You know, we're not having, I think it would be hard if there was a council meeting and then CRC and if the same members are on GOL, that's three meetings at night in a week. Well, Freke and I are both on GOL. Go ahead, Pat. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, for Kay and I, Ette and I are both on uh, GOL and CRC. So I do not wish to do a four or five hour meeting. I 
can't do that. But so I could on Tuesday. That just without a break, I can't do that. Just physically. No, um, we we I wouldn't do, do CRC and GOL back to back. Oh, so like if if CRC were on the 16th, say, then GOL would be on the 23rd. Something like that. I, I don't know that GOL is going to pick Tuesday rather than Thursday, but what I can try and do when I'm working with chairs to set the calendars is do a council meeting Monday, GOL Thursday, and then the next week, CRC Tuesday. So that you don't have council meeting late Monday, yeah. CRC later in the evening, Tuesday, and GOL. So, yeah, yeah. so I can try and break things up a little bit, but... um. Like I said, I need to wait and see what GOL decides for their schedule and the other committees, and then I'll yeah, that work sense. with the chairs to set the calendars for each committee. But but it, anticipating that that's what it will likely be, I can I can space things out so it's not all in one week. And there may that, be that would be helpful. Time. Thank you. Do we need a what? motion to lock this in, or can we just come to consensus? Sounds like there's consensus, but. Great. So I am hearing that Tuesdays work well for everybody still. Um, it means that I don't will not sing this semester, um, but I'm getting too busy to sing anyway. Um, so Tuesdays it will be, and um, I'm. So it sounds like six thirty. At what time? Six thirty is a reasonable time, okay. so it doesn't go too late. Any yeah, and in terms of people, in, I'm sorry, well, I can't see anything. So uh, in terms of 6.30, we, if we do public comment, say at 7, then it's easier for people who may be having dinner so that we don't start with public comment. Does that make sense? I don't know. Yep, we can, we can feel that out. Yeah, that makes sense. And I think people are generally um, used to attending meetings in the evening rather than during the day. Okay, so yeah, Tuesday, I think it... Tuesdays at 6.30, 6.30 to 8.30, and uh, we will rely on Athena to try to set up the initial schedule anyway to, um, to try to bring some balance in the kinds of meetings each week between Joelle CRC and council. Athena. Mandy, uh, please let Mandy go ahead. Go ahead, Mandy. I was just going to say, should we set at least our next one without knowing the schedule? Like, she are, beat me to the punch. <laughs> like, are, are we going to, there's a council meeting the 22nd, right? But yeah. not one the 29th. Mm -hmm. If we don't want to do it right after a council meeting, January happens to have five Tuesdays. So um, maybe we'd be, we'd either be the, looking at the 16th, the 23rd, or the 30th. And the 16th, we actually can't do because of meeting late. notice times. Um, so the 23rd or the 30th. So I think it would depend on whether people want to be right after this council meeting or the week there isn't one. If we if we would if we went to the thirtieth, which is the last Tuesday of January, and then to the thirteenth, um, we will we will probably bump into problems on the twenty seventh of February, which follows a council meeting. But then we're okay the March twelve and March twenty six. So I, I I'm guessing that because the because the council schedule alternates so much that we should probably try to be consistent in our essentially every other week. Yeah. I would like to start on the 23rd. I have a workshop I'm attending on the 16th from 6 to 8. What about the 30th? I can do the 30th. The 23rd or the 30th. I wonder if we just want to set the next one and then we'll know when all the other committees are meeting and if Athena's willing to sort of try and figure out reasonable schedules amongst the four committees based on what times they pick, um, it might be good to, for now, go to the, what pick either the 23rd or 30th, and then 
by then all the other three committees will have met and Athena might have a better idea of whether we aim for one and three or two and four or a flat every other or something. It might end up meaning we have one, uh, it, January to February is two weeks in a row or something. Yeah. But. Um, I'm, I think I would weigh in on the 30th because um, we haven't gotten to uh, the next agenda or the future items, but I know that there is some interest in having um, a conversation with landlo landlords and managers, and that might give some time for another um, one. We've already had one. I understand. We've been we've been asked to have another one before before we actually vote. Does anyone have an objection to the 30th as the first meeting? I think the 30th makes sense. A lot of folks are going to be away over the weekend of the 19th, 20th. And then we have, as soon as everybody gets back, there's a council meeting. And I, um, it feels like that would ramp up to put it on the 23rd. Jennifer. Yeah, I mean, the 30th is good for me. I'm wondering with ZBA, what is, if I could just be reminded of our timing. ZBA is thursdays right no but when is that person is he already off the, the vacancy is already open yeah okay so that will be one of our first items yeah, that does push that off a little longer right? right okay anybody anybody object to the 30th for next meeting okay so Alcina, if we could set that up for the 30th and then it looks like if we could pencil in the 13th of February, um, that too might be nice just to, just in case uh, we want to set a precedent, we could pencil it in before anybody else gets it. Super. I will have a, I'll have a draft schedule of meeting dates for you on the 30th. Terrific. Thank you so much. That would be very helpful. I I won't be attending meetings um probably until May. So I'll I'll work with Dave or another staff member to make sure you get your meetings kicked off and um until then. Great. Thank you very much. Um I have uh, on the agenda, on the draft agenda that was put together very nicely by the former chair for this for this purpose, working with Athena. Um, item number four is discussion items. Item number five is general public comment. I think I would like to go to the public comment first because there are three attendees in the audience and um, sort of take care of that first before we discuss next items and et cetera. So I am going to reach out to the audience. Actually, Pat DeAngelis is one of the audience members. So sorry, I lumped you with <laughs> it. Um, if there is anyone in the audience who would like to um, make a public comment uh, on the on matters within the jurisdiction of the CRC, um, you're welcome to express your views for up to three minutes. We look forward to hearing from you. Any hands in the audience? I don't see hands being raised. I'm guessing that there are no public comments. So we will go to uh, the next item, which is discussion items. And um, in my mind, that sort of is in the same ballpark as next agenda item. <laughs> we have no minutes. We have, do we have any announcements? So, so now we do come to next agenda preview. And as, um, as we talked about at the end of last term, we have uh, still a number of big items on the on the plate. We have rental registration, rental regulations, fee structures, uh, 
solar bylaw came to us at the very end of last year. Um, and first and foremost, ZBA appointments. Any thoughts, comments about the ZBA? We have um, the opportunity, which we should review at the next meeting, is just confirm that the ZBA interview questions are appropriate still, that the uh, we ad adopt or readopt uh, selection criteria, and also identify the efficiency of the pool of candidates. Andy. So, yeah, I think we need to have the ZBA openings on the next agenda um, to make recommendations. Um, and I would I would suggest we put the rental registration bylaw regulations fee structure on the next agenda, either as a as as a landlord discussion, if you as chair decide that's the way to go, or as a continuing review of the package. Maybe it could be a combination of, of conversation and review of package, depending on how long the conversation goes. <clears throat> any other, any other, let me see if I have any other notes on um, I think one of the things that might be helpful for Freke, Ete, um, would be sort of a summary of those elements, those items that are on our plate with the CRC right now. And I'd be happy to address the ZBA topic if someone else would like to talk about rental registration and, and the work that's going on there. This, this committee uh, is, the, is the group that interviews, uh, selects, or makes recommendations to the council on people to fill positions on the ZBA, the Zoning Board of Appeals, and the Planning Board. And right now we have a number of vacancies um, on the ZBA and they look to us, they are dependent on us for filling those positions so that they can do their work efficiently. Um, right now there are, uh, there is one full member vacancy and one associate member vacancy. By next June, all of the one year appointments will end and need to be replaced or refilled. Um, and one full member will, will need to be replaced or refilled. So there's, there's a lot of potential turnover on that board. And again, they are reliant on us to get our work done so that they have a full complement of staff or members. Um, same goes with planning board, but that's not quite as urgent because there are no vacancies right now on the planning board. There are some people that come off their end of their terms at the end of our fiscal year and would, we will need to have some new people in place for next fiscal year. Jennifer. So I just wanted to add the somebody of uh... A member of the ZBA had to withdraw, and that's why we have this urgency sort of mid-term. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. the terms end, they start with the fiscal year, correct? Mm -hmm. But but somebody had to leave at the end of last year, and that's why we have the vacancy now. Thank you. Anybody want to give an overview of rental registration? Do you want me to? <laughs> So rental registration has been, oh gosh, almost two years now. Um, and so um, Ate, you're the 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 new the new member of this committee. The other four of us are actually continuing on. Um, and as a five member committee, we were referred in early 2022 to basically look at and potentially redraft the rental registration permitting bylaw. Um, and it in August of 2023, this the CRC voted a recommendation to the council on a bylaw. Um, the council took it up and referred portions of that to finance and to GOL, different portions. There's three segments of it right now. There's a bylaw, there's 
now regulations and there's fees um, to charge for the permits. And in August, the fees were referred to finance and the bylaw and regulations were referred to GOL for their review for clarity, consistency, and actionability. Um, GOL made its return in, I don't know, October to the council after review with a, a vote. Um, finance sent stuff back to CRC. CRC sent stuff back to finance. Finance finished and sent stuff to the council um, in late November. The council had its first review reading of the bylaw and the package in early December, late November, something like that. Um, the council received a lot of comments from the Amherst Landlords Association and the individual landlords in Amherst with concerns about the bylaw. And in December, uh, the council referred back to CRC the whole package <laughs> to look at and counselors submitted comments on that package. And in December, CRC had one review, one, one meeting left when that referral came through and started that review of the counselor comments and the landlord association's comments. Um, and so we're, we're at the end of a two year process working through those comments and any changes um, desired or requested by those comments and discussing all of that. Um, we have had extensive help from our uh, inspection services department, Rob Mora, um, who will probably be at future meetings when the item's back on the agenda. Um, that's a brief, brief overview of where it is, um, I would say. Thank you. I appreciate you volunteering to do that. <laughs> So it's it's a it's been a long process. It was um, it was a a bylaw um, upgrade that was sponsored by four different counselors. So there was a lot of there was a lot of um, interest and support for upgrading the current permitting process and the current permitting system. So we are refining it, we are getting feedback, and we have been asked for one more opportunity from the landlords, landowners um, association to consider their thoughts um, in the process. And um, sounds like that may be something that we would schedule for the 30th, um, as one opportunity for a conversation or a discussion, perhaps um, on some of the last items that seem to be sticking points um, from for them, Jennifer. Yeah, and I just just a quick historical overview um, for Freke is in 2013, Amherst, when we had town meeting, passed the first residential rental property bylaw. So that was when we first began having a system of having to obtain rental permits to rent property. So after 10 years, we was getting to be 10 years in 2022, we thought it was a good time to look at what was working and what maybe needed to be strengthened. So that's how it came about. Thank you. Uh, Freke, any questions? Okay, excuse me. So, excuse me. Um, thank you, um, Mandy, and for everyone um, for the overview. I have tons of questions, but none that I could raise now. But what you've said will be helpful in rereading what I'd read, because, uh, for example, Mandy had mentioned that with three sections, and so I I noticed that in the packet, and I was wondering where that came from. So now that makes more sense for me. And in the and in the packet are um multiple copies of <laughs> of all of the items. So if you um in the SharePoint, um you you have access I think now to the SharePoint um folder for CRC and within that um and for the meeting today in fact there are something like there must be more than 20 items. Many of them are duplicative. Um, 
some are just a Word document and then the other being a PDF, but it does generally lump them into the general bylaw, the regulations, the chart for fee schedules, fee schedule recommendations. Uh, so it's if you have any questions, um, let me know or let Mandy know that since she was the one that sort of populated that folder, um, please just ask. And if you're trying to figure out what is the most recent or, or any of that, just ask. But this might be good because it'll give you another week or so to sort of come up to speed on that. Jennifer. Um, no, we did look at what is done in other towns, particularly university towns in Massachusetts and in other states. And when it came to like the fee structure, there seemed to be as many, well, and inspections, there seemed to be as many ways as of deciding how you were going to do the fee structure, how frequently you were going to have inspections, how many units in a larger building you might inspect. We saw that for as many towns as have, you know, rental permitting, um, there's as many different ways of structuring, of having the fee structure and the inspections. So, and we did, it was then referred to finance to actually suggest the act the fees we gave a recommended what we thought structures that might work and then we looked to finance to actually come up with the amount so none of that is kind of it's we're still working on that um but just to give you you know kind of a context for how we came up with all this that we did and and if i if, i don't know if it's helpful we could go back and look at some of the other i think we may have in the file some of the other towns that we referred to or some of the research if that's helpful for you to look at as well The, the other item that uh, is in the packet for, uh, that was in our packet for today, includes all of the solar bylaw information uh, that has been passed to us. And again, that was passed to, referred to CRC at the very end of this past December. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking that that's not gonna be on the agenda for the 30th it's another whole topic. And I think one of the first things that we will want to do is to just talk about how to structure the public input and the feedback from town staff on how to start getting our heads around it and understanding it. Any other, any other, uh, Jennifer? You're, You're muted. 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 I'm sorry. Um, the solar bylaw is new to all of us. We haven't looked at that before. And I need a crash course. <laughs> exactly. Any I can questions? send out some reading. Go ahead. I Pat. can send it's Pat. I can thank you. I'm sorry. Um, I can send out some readings around uh from state reports and stuff and state decisions about um, bylaw, uh, solar bylaws and stuff. So we have some kind of background. I can get that over the next couple of days and out to people. Thank you. Great. And that if, if they are, um, I'm looking to Manny Joe. Um, if Pat can send us all of that background information, it might also at some point be added to a packet as, as information, perhaps? Yeah, you can add it to a packet if you'd like. Yeah. Yeah. Probably the first one when solar, when you finally put solar on the agenda. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, some of the reading is dense, so it'll take some time to work on. Right. Thank you. That would be very helpful. Uh, any other future agenda items that at least want to get brought up? Andy. I just want to mention the, the only other carryover item we haven't mentioned is the nuisance house bylaw, which is now called the nuisance property bylaw. It was also referred, I don't know, like originally referred, what, what's the date? A while, a long time ago, right? Um, June of 2022. <laughs> and, and CRC has been working on drafts of that and continues that conversation. Um, 
kind of related to mm -hmm. rental registration, but not totally related to rental registration, but but the draft is is in process still. Thank you. Yes. I always think of it as part of that package, but it's not really good. Good. I think we have completed our short meeting and have established a meeting date. Uh, we have a chair, a vice chair, and um, it's great to see everybody back. And we have a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of work this coming year. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Uh, if nobody, any, there are no uh, items in the within 48 hours, so I'm going to adjourn the meeting at 516. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you, Dave. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.